One person after the next has been reaching out to contact Diver 7 about the same roofing company. They say taking their money and not delivering. Many say some work was done and then forgotten, while others are still waiting for it to start. So Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez went to hear their stories and find out what the company has to say. Ten people speaking out against Prime Star Property Solutions, all of them sharing a similar story of frustration and empty promises. Everybody came to an agreement. We were supposed to have material dropped. We cut a check and we still haven't seen anything. I'm still waiting on my roof. I haven't received materials. I'm a retired school teacher and um, I spent the whole winter worrying about I've wasted $10,000 of my money. From Pueblo to Westminster, people say they decided to hire Prime Star after their homes received damage because of a hailstorm in 2019. I even looked on the Better Business Bureau website and at that time, they had a good rating. They didn't have any complaints. That all changed by this spring. Right now, the company's rating on the Better Business Bureau is a F. For these homeowners, after spending thousands of dollars and not seeing the job completed, the rating is fair. But even former employees say the company had no reason to not do the work. When I go pick up a homeowner's money and then give it to the contractor who's supposed to be scheduling the work and the material, I know there's no reason for it not to happen because he has the funds to pay for it. Prime Star says they haven't defrauded any customers. In a statement, they say in part, we do have a backlog of work and we are doing everything possible to get through it as fast as possible. I think some customers are not happy with the idea of being patient as we work through the delays caused by, among other things, COVID-19. They also point to layoffs and a disgruntled ex-sales contractor. They promise to finish all the jobs, but for the homeowners, those words mean little. I mean, it's been a year and a half and still the same, same simple reply. Homeowners tell Denver 7 they've asked the Colorado Attorney General's office to investigate, hoping to either get their hard-earned money back or the job actually completed. Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7.